Yesterday we studied Arabic. Today we will take few things from Quran. And at the moment you don't know Arabic, so we will read it in English language. Later we will study it in Arabic, inshallah. So, so, first thing you need to write is the name of the surah. The name of surah is Surah Nisa. And ayah number that we will study today is 20. Then we will read it in English first. Then we will write a few questions and answers from it as well. Okay, first student we have today is uh, Isa Nafisa. Read this. Okay. Can you hear us? Yes, I can. Okay, read this. In one. English? Yes. Okay. This is verse 20. But if you intend to replace a wife by another and you have given one of them a quintal that's of good, that is a great amount of mahar, take note the least bit of it back. Would you take it wrongfully with a right and with a manifest sin? Read 21 as well. And how could you take it back while you have gone in onto each other? And they have taken from you a firm and strong covenant. So here we need to find the question for desire. Sometimes we see that husband has given a large amount of mahar, a large quantity of mahar. Can husband take back Mahar at the time of divorce? The question is we write it. Can the husband take back Mahar at the time of divorce? Okay. The answer is no. Okay. If, uh, let us try the complete answer. If uh, they had gone to bed, then husband cannot take it back at the time of divorce. Okay. I will repeat the answer. If they have gone to bed already, then the husband cannot take back Mahar, even if it is large quantity. Really at that time, or even still, when people wanted to leave a wife and marry someone else, they used to start oppressing her so that she can give them their her mahar back. But that thing is not allowed. Once husband has given the mahar and gone to bed with her, then he cannot take anything back unless the woman takes Allah. Next student, Mahabuba Begum. Yes. What is the question and the answer here? For number one? Yes. Repeat it. The question is, can the husband take back mahar at the time of divorce? 
Mm. The answer is no. If they have had marital relations, even if the quantity is a large amount. So he cannot take it back. From where did you get the answer? Um, Chapter, uh, sorry, Ayah 20 and 21 in Surah Nisa. Okay, also write this in the answer, okay? Every time, write the reference as, as well, so that when you teach, you can give it, give the reference to the student, okay? Mm -hmm. Write the reference as well. Now, read the next one. From 22? Yes. And marry not women who, whom your father has married, except what has already passed. Indeed, it was shameful and most hateful in a, in an evil way. Alhamdulillah, this problem is not in a Muslim's country. But we often feel that now it is uh, promoted in non-Muslim country. They have started promoting these things. You are, I think, also living in non-Muslim country. Have you ever seen anyone in a relationship with their step parents? Um, yes or no? I haven't personally seen it, but I have heard of stories. Okay, you have heard of stories. So basically, this thing is strictly prohibited in Islam. And if we look at the Western world, Western history, we see that few hundred years back, relationship without marriage was considered a bad thing in their culture. A relationship without marriage was considered as bad, but then they started promoting it. And now relationship without marriage is a normal thing in that culture. After that, when it become a normal thing, when we look at their history, we see that homosexuality was also bad in that society, was considered as sexuality, was considered as bad thing in their culture. But then they started promoting it, and now it is also considered as normal thing in their Society, even they call it basic human right. They have made it basic human right in their societies. Now they have achieved that thing. And now we see that through their media, they have started promoting next thing, which is the relationship between siblings. Now they are promoting, openly promoting the relationships between sibling also still they have not achieved their goal yet but it looks like within next 20 to 30 years they will make it a normal human right thing once they will achieve it they will move to the next step in which they will openly start promoting relationship with, with the step parents so this is the way they do. They do everything in steps. They started with the most common thing or most basic thing. Then once they achieve their goal, they go to the next step. In this way, by step by step, they promote vulgarity in their community. Allah protect us from these things but we need to be aware of such things so this thing is strictly prohibited in Islam I don't think we need to write any question for this shall we write the question on this or not no that's for okay. me that's okay okay so this is a hateful thing in Islam so no need to write now read the next one next student who is the next one is uh, Nafisa you for yes. marriage uh, your mothers your daughters your sisters your father's sisters 
your mother's sisters, your brother's daughters, your sister's daughters, your foster's mother, who gave you suck, your foster milk suckling sister, your wife's mother, your stepdaughters, under your guardianship, born of your wives to whom you have gone in, but there is no sin on you if you have not gone in them to marry their daughters. The wives, the wives of your sons who spring from your own lo loins and two sisters in wedlock at the same time, except for what has already passed. Very really, I is of forgiven, most merciful. These are the relationships with whom we cannot marry. So these are written in your detail here. If you have any question regarding it, you can ask me. We will not write any question for here. So the first okay. one is mothers. So basically, we cannot marry our mothers or fathers. Mm -hmm. Then daughters. So you are females. So you cannot marry your sons. Then you cannot marry your brothers. Then you cannot marry the brothers of your father. Then you cannot marry the brother of your mothers. Then you cannot marry the son of your brother. Then you cannot marry the son of your sister. If then, it would be your father's brothers, would that go up as much as, so just say your granddad's brother? Sorry, repeat your question. So you know where it's your father's, and because we're women, father's brothers, would that go up as many generations? So just say, for example, your granddad's brother or your grand, like as much as the the line goes up it goes as much as lines go up okay okay then all time foster mother was a common thing at that time there was no artificial milk so whenever there was a deficiency of milk in any woman or other women used to come and give their milk to the baby so that time foster mother was a normal thing. Islam also encourages it as it is good for the health of the child. If different women give the milk to one baby, it is good for the health of the children. Because if there is a deficiency of some nutrient in one woman, then the other woman's milk fulfill their deficiency. So at that time foster mother was a common thing. So, uh, after first with foster mother, our relationships are also unallowed. Okay, I have a question too. Yes, our cousins are allowed to marry. You know, cousins are like your maybe your father's brother's son or your father's um brother's daughters. Are they allowed to get married? Cousins, you are asking that. Cousin marriage is not allowed. Okay. I did not understand your question. Repeat your question. I said, is cousin allowed to marry in Islam? Like, are cousins yes. allowed? Yes, cousin okay. can marry each other. Okay. okay provided that there's no way the other party suck the breast of the other mother. The, like, yes. maybe. Okay. Yes, if they have drink the milk from same woman in their childhood, then they cannot marry each other. Otherwise, they can marry. Okay. Then this thing is very important because it can happen to anyone these days as well that you cannot marry your stepsons. So if you, let's suppose you marry a man and he is already son from another woman, then you cannot have, you cannot, you can never marry dad's son. Okay. That is your steps. Now there is one more thing here. 
but there is no sin if you have not gone into them. Do you understand this part of the ayah? Yes or no? No. Okay, let me explain it to you. We have practical example. Do you have a brother? Yes. Young brother. What is his age and name? He's Ismail, 26 years. Ismail, 26. Do you have any brother who is less than 20? No. Mahbubah, no. you? No. Okay, let's suppose there is a guy whose name is... Uh, where is my pen? So let's suppose there's a guy whose name is Ali and his age is 18 years old or maybe let's make it 20 years old. In Islam at the time of Prophet Sallallahu uh, Alaihi most of the boys and most of the girls used to prefer to marry a religious person they did not care about the age very much. So let's suppose someone told Ali about the woman whose name may be Sarah. Sarah is 45 years old and she is very religious. Because of her religion, Ali has decided to marry her. Sarah maybe has a daughter whose name may be Arisha. Arisha is only 18 years old. Okay. So because of the religion, her religion, Ali has decided to marry Sarah. He sent her the marriage proposal and they did a nikah. So Ali did a nikah with Sarah. But Ali does not have any proper work. He can't afford to live at the moment. So he did not consume the marriage. So Ali is still living with his parents. And Sarah is living in her home separately. So they have done the nikah. But they have never gone to bed yet. But maybe because of uh, uh, Sarah age or maybe she is sick so they both now have thought that they cannot spend the life together so they have decided to divorce so before going to bed and before consuming the marriage they have ended in divorce and now according to this ayah Ali can marry Arisha Okay, after the divorce, Ali can marry Arisha because they have never gone to bed with each other. But if Ali and Sarah has uh, consummated the marriage and they have gone to bed, then Ali cannot marry Arisha. Okay? Yes. Any question? Yes. No question. There is can one man marry twins together? Sorry. Can like maybe a man will marry twin sister, both of them at the same time, or a twin brothers will marry one woman? No. A okay. man cannot marry two sisters together, and 
Of course, a woman cannot marry two brothers together. Okay. Thank you. Your Honor. Then you cannot marry the husband of your daughters. Let's suppose your the husband of your daughter has given her divorce, and then you cannot marry him. You cannot marry that person as well. After that, you are uh, two sisters cannot marry the same person at the same time. So if one dies, then she can marry him. Otherwise, they both cannot stay in marriage with the same guy at the same time. That is not allowed. Okay, but if one died, he can marry from still the same family. Yes, she can marry. For example, let's suppose, what is your name, Nafisa? Nafisa. And what is your sister's name? Aisha. Aisha. So let's suppose Aisha is married to someone whose name is Umar, for the example. And after three years, maybe Aisha dies because of some sickness. Then the Fisa can marry Umar. But as long as Aisha is alive, she is his wife, you cannot marry Umar. But what about the case of divorce? Even in divorce, you can marry her. Let's suppose Omar give divorce to Aisha because of some reason. After divorce, Nafisa can marry Omar. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, next student, Mahbuba Begum, read this one. Also forbidden are women already married, except those slaves whom your right hand possesses. Uh, thus has Allah ordained for you. All others are lawful, provided you seek them in marriage, and mahar, with mahar, bridal money given by the husband to his wife at the time of marriage. From your property, desiring chastity, not committing illegal sexual intercourse, so with those of whom you have enjoyed sexual relations, give them their mahar as, this, as prescribed. But if a mahar is prescribed, you agree mutually to give more. There is no sin on you. Surely Allah is ever, know, ever all knowing, all wise. Then those women who are already married with someone, we cannot have any kind of relationship with them. We cannot even send them marriage proposal. These are strictly forbidden as well. Then there were slaves. There are so many rules about slaves, but we don't have any slaves these days. So no need to go in detail of that. And except these women, all other women are lawful for us. We can marry them. We can send them marriage proposal. And the men condition for nikah is that we need to pay mahar so after paying them mahar or after deciding the mahar we can uh, marry them and there is another thing that after if husband himself want to increase the mahar let's suppose women ask something in mahar after a and man has given that mahar to her, then if he wants, he can give extra mahar to her as well. No need to write any question here. If you have any question, you can ask me. Next student F8697.
Isa Nafisa. And whoever of you have not the means wherewith to wait. Your sound is not audible to us. Okay. And whoever of you have we not can't the means hear you. Can you hear me now? Okay, yes. And whoever of you have not again we can't hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. And whoever of you have not the means wherewith to wed free, believing women, they may wed believing girls from among those slaves whom your right hands possess, and Allah has fully knowledge about your faith. You are one from another. Wed them with the permission of their own folk, guardians, aulia, or masters, and give them their mahar according to what is reasonable. They, the above said captive and slave girls, should be chased, not committing illegal sex, no, taking boyfriends, and after they have been taken in wedlock, love, if they commit illegal sexual intercourse, their punishment is half that for free on married women. This is for him among you who is afraid of being harmed in this religion or in his body. But it is better for you that you practice self-restraint and Allah is oft forgiven, most merciful. So this is another law about the slaves. How can we marry them? And what are the rules and reg regulations regarding the slaves? But we don't have any slaves. So we will skip this one as well. Miss uh, Mahabuba, read the next one. Allah wishes to make clear what is lawful and what is unlawful to you and to show you the ways of those before you and accept your repentance and Allah is all knower, all wise. Read the next one as well. Allah wishes to accept your repentance but those who follow their lusts wish that you believers should deviate tremendously away from the right path. <coughs> Read the next one as well. Allah wishes to lighten the burden for you. And man was created weak, cannot be patient to leave sexual intercourse with women. Okay, so here Allah also tells you one more very important thing. That Allah has made you weak. What does this mean that you are weak? Any idea? What is the meaning of weak here? Is it um, not being your sexual desire? Okay. So what is the meaning of weak? What is the meaning of the statement? You are created weak. It means when you like in this, it's in the from the eye, it means when you when you are not able to control your desire and um it's it can hold like when you are not able to like hold yourself or restrain yourself from some particular something or anything at the moment that means you are weak in that aspect it means that if you don't fulfill your sexual needs in a halal way then it will become yes. almost impossible for you to stop yourself from haram things so here, write the answer. If we don't fulfill our needs in a halal way, then it will become almost impossible to avoid 
आराम थिंग एंड एनी वन हो विल कमिट द हराम विल डेविएट प्रेमेंडसली अवे फ्रॉम द राइट पाथ एंड एनी वन हो विल कमिट हराम विल डेविएट ट्रेमेंडसली अवे फ्रॉम द राइट पाथ एनी वन रिपीट द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट यू आर क्रिएटेड वीक एंड द आंसर इज वेन वेन सम वन कैन नॉट डू दफॉर्म द हल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ दीन एंड देन बिकम स्वीक दैट ही कमिट Haram relationships. Repeat your answer. <laughs> Do you hear us? <clears throat> Next to the Mahmoud Bhai, you repeat the answer. Okay, so if you don't fulfill your desire in a halal way, you're going to turn to. haram relationship and haram mm -hmm. way of fulfilling that desire and then you will be deviating from the right path okay reference for this answer is surah nisa ayah 28 okay so we will stop at 29 okay. 29 so it's 29 okay Ah, uh, twenty nine is for the next class. Inshallah, we'll start twenty okay. nine in the mm -hmm. next class. Okay. Okay. If Thank anybody has any question, they can ask me. Then we'll stop here. Have no questions. See I don't you. have question. See you all next time, Inshallah. 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 Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum.